Hey everybody, it's me. So I wanted to go over um, some things that I learned at convention. Um, from this class, it was being a social media expert. <laughs> Big girl panties. <laughs> okay, so for one, using social media. So like Periscope, Facebook, um, Instagram, Pinterest, all those things are different platforms. But the thing is, is to not do too many at one time. Kind of get the understanding of each one that you're doing first. And kind of build there instead of trying to do like a million different platforms. Um, so, and then try to make different posts. Maybe similar, but not exactly the same wording on each thing. So if on Instagram... Do something different than what you're going to put on Facebook. I mean, because if people are going to follow you on different platforms, they're not going to want to see the repeated stuff on, on all your stuff. So try to make them a bit different. Um, have a VIP group where you post different things. Like on Facebook, have a VIP group. And that's for specific people that you want to target. Um, because your news feeds, not everybody's going to see everything. Branding yourself, um, stick to one name, um, business is always open, Instagram is always up, um, so as long if you're always going to have business, so don't be afraid, oh, it's one o'clock. Well, in other places, it's, you know, afternoon, so it's always open, so regardless, you can do business anytime. Um, some do's and don'ts. So we're going to start with some don'ts. Friending other or all presenters. You don't, I mean, having downline and stuff, but there's only so many people you can have as a friend. And the more presenters you have, the less of your friends you'll see. So don't get offended if, if another presenter doesn't, you know, add you. Um, it's because you, you want, um, you, you want to mainly reach for building your business. You can't really build your business if you have a million friends that are unique presenters. I have a few, um, but you can always follow them, and it's not like you can't communicate with them either. So follow them instead of adding them. Facebook is not saturated. Um, it's just your feeds. Your feeds are. You gotta go to other people's pages and actually, you know, interact with other people so you can see other people's stuff. What You can train your Facebook to see what you want your which you which you want to see so when you go to other people's pages you have to visit like once a week so you always have to be out of the three percent ninety seven percent of people are always expecting people to interact with them instead of vice versa so you have to be the three percent of people that actually go and interact with other people and that's really what you want to do a uh, spray and pray which is where you looking for people and then you word vomit all over them um, there's a reaping season and there is a sowing season, which is pretty much, you know, when you're planting the seed, you gotta plant the seed, you gotta water the seed, and then the fruit will grow. It's kind of that thing. Um, on Instagram, have organic likes, you know, or on Facebook, have organic likes. Don't pay to get a million followers because it's not real, not, people aren't really following you. Um, so interacting, um... Don't share, like, violent videos and political views and stuff like that. It's a business page. Your Facebook needs to be about business. So you technically don't want to be off offending all your clients. And you definitely don't want to be pushing people. Um, I mean, it's one thing to have views, but you can't do views in, in your business at the same time because it'll bring people down. Positive posts, positive things. Um... Don't give up on Google+. Plus. I haven't done it yet, but I'm going to start working on it. Apparently, it's it's a good thing to use. Um, voice messaging. Give value and follow up. Um, on Facebook, you can do a voice messaging, which is something I'm going to start dabbling in myself. Um, just and when, when you do videos and everything, give them a value. Make it quick. And tell them what you're going to do for them. And usually people will watch it. If it's more than five minutes, people will probably stop watching. So, that's not good. 
No links on other presenters posts. No toe stepping, which most of you should already know. You can't just pop on other. I've lost sales to people doing that. I've had people do reviews for me, and then other presenters jump in and post their website in the comments. And I've had a lady message me and say, "Oh, I ordered from you," and it turns out she didn't order from me. She ordered from someone else who posted their link in my post, which really ticked me off because I worked hard for that review. I sent that mascara out for free at my cost, and I didn't get that sale. So it's just disrespectful. Don't post on other people's stuff and, and, and be a vulture. That's what I call them, is a vulture is when you prey on other people to get clients the easy way without doing the work. Um, so don't step on toes. Um, I had the the girl that was sharing her story about the toe stepping is that while she was at convention shared a post from convention and some other presenter on her personal page popped in and was like hey buy from me you know and that's not cool um you don't post negative or blurry or bad quality pics if your pictures look really bad people aren't gonna take it serious they want to see good pictures um, if you're going to edit them, don't make them look fake. Um, make them look like themselves. Just make be better lighting, better quality type stuff. Okay, some do's. Exciting posts. Um, consistency, hashtags, um, personable, engaging. It's kind of like spaghetti. You're, you want sauce on top of your spaghetti, so... Don't make something boring. Make it exciting. Um, be crazy. Be engaging. Post different things. Um, make people get involved and people get excited about that. Um, let's see. Mm. Not all sales. Okay. Um, you want to do like lifestyle posts, like, oh, I think it's too unique, I got my nails done, or something, or like, I'm finally able to go on this trip, or I'm doing this with my kids, you know, just likable posts that are not all salesy, make your own, um, recruiting business, don't share others, yeah, make your own videos, sharing others is giving them the sale, and it's giving them the credit, and you know, it doesn't matter where you start off. You have to start off somewhere, and regardless of whatever level you are, you can still be a leader. You can still get sales. You can still communicate with people. People want to buy from you. They don't want to buy from Unique, really. They want somebody they can connect with and somebody that they like. Um, so be creative. Research. Um, master one to master others. That was the thing about... Um, just sticking with platforms you're comfortable with before taking on too much. Um, they will come to you once you get talking to people. Try to talk to at least five people a day, just conversations. And then when you post up, they'll see your posts. You don't have to just jump in, hey, buy my stuff. That's something I'm I'm working really hard to not do. Is I've always been like, had always been like a spray and spray, you know, like, bleh, you know, like. Some people just it, aren't attracted to that, and you, they want communication. They don't want to just be a sales person, you know. They don't want to just be sold to. So get to know them, invest and grow. Um, mm, 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 mm. There is a thing where you can schedule posts. Um, reach out to makeup artists for reviews. Icon Square is a report card for posts on website. I can't remember. I guess it's C N I C H Share. That's where you can. It's it's a thing you can use to schedule posts if you're going to work so that you can pick peak times of the day to post. Um, there are banned hashtags, so you have to do a research so that you're not using hashtags that are banned because that'll flag your entire post. Um, unsee unsearchable. Nobody will see it. Even if you have other hashtags in it, don't use banned hashtags. Um, 
And that was it for, you know, being a social media expert um, class. I'll be doing other um, videos on the different classes. Um, but a lot of people would reach out to people with a lot of followers on, like, Instagram. Um, and do freebies. They would send it off for a free review. And the review would give, like, your website and stuff. And if people were interested, they could buy it from you. I've done it. Um, I had t t people join my team. I've had a couple sales. I lost a couple sales because, like I said, vultures. Don't be a vulture. Don't be picking from someone else's stuff um, without any work. Um, so, yeah, just go with it. Make stuff your own. Be organic. Be patient with people. Um, because it's hard once you've already kind of, like, sprayed them with words and then to kind of build a relationship with them. Because I'm going back through, like, a lot of people that I've just pounced on, you know. <laughs> it's the excitement. I know it happens. You just jump all over them. And I'm just, you know, trying to get to know them and, say, and, and be specific don't copy and paste every post to each person I know you're trying to communicate with a lot of people make it personable to them go to their profile like a couple things first and then say hey you know I just saw your post da, 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 da. and it's kind of more engaging it's more personable it gets people a little bit more able to respond um, and Brie has a thing about the you know uh, not just Brie but a lot of a lot of the uh, talk about the C's, um, being crazy, compliment, and, um, dang, I just lost my train of thought, crazy, compliment, and I'll get back to you on the other C, <laughs> uh, but just be crazy, compliment, and just talk to them, um, pretty much, and follow up, be consistent every day, it takes time if it don't happen within the first week or two weeks or first three weeks or even the first month you gotta keep doing it because if you have five conversations every day and you share posts lifestyle posts you share um, pics you share your love of the company you share what you do and you're being out there communicating with people there's no way it cannot happen and so I'm applying that myself and I'm growing myself with that and I really think y'all should try to do that yourselves um, and make videos um, make them your own and I've been trying to do my own demo videos and just going with it people have responded I've had people tell me they've watched my brow videos like 30 times because they wanted to get it down and it made me feel really good I even had a guy that's a friend of mine he was like oh I watched your brow video so check out my brows <laughs> it made me laugh but I mean people are watching you you may not know it but people are watching you and they're attracted to you and what you bring to the table and how you do it so we're going on almost you know 15 minutes so I'm gonna go ahead and cut it there and just say thanks for um, taking the time to watch this video um, and there will be more so if you have questions on stuff I don't know all the answers but that's part of this journey is to grow and to learn and to teach ourselves and research and I don't mind if, if I don't know it I will find the answer for you um, because it's also helping me as a leader and I want you to be a leader and I want you to feel like you can come to me on stuff and we'll grow this business together so push on push up and don't give up <laughs> thanks ladies <laughs>